the school coverage. Most school districts are starting school with virtual learning, but many are still fine-tuning their plans for the transition into in-person instruction. Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo is urging them to reconsider welcoming students back onto campus anytime soon. Today, she issued guidance for reopening using a color-coded system. Channel 2's Brandon Walker joins us live from Southwest Houston with what the judge is calling a roadmap to reopening. Brandon, good evening. Hey, good evening, Christine. The release of that roadmap, Judge Hidalgo says, is necessary because she wants to make sure data from science is behind the decisions school, dis school districts are making as to whether they will or when they will return to in-person learning. But that's a recommendation. So tonight, that question rests in the hands of the 20 or so school districts within Harris County to decide whether they want to go with what the judge is suggesting or stick with the plans that they have in place. Being intellectually honest, looking at best practices. Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo today on what she says is best practice for schools in the county right now. Best practice, said the judge, is for classrooms to remain empty as long as the county's COVID-19 threat level remains severe. As Dr. Shaw said, there is no example of a successful reopening in a community with numbers such as ours, uh, either now or anytime soon. With that, Judge Hidalgo and county health leaders introduced this new color-coded guide advising school districts on how to reopen for in-person learning. Capacity levels safe enough for teachers, students, and staff based on data, the judge says, that shows where the county stands in its fight against the coronavirus. This is us standing up and saying, these are our recommendations. We strongly urge each of the recommendations on here. Strongly urged recommendations because late last month, Governor Abbott said local government officials have no power to shut down school districts, leaving that decision up to the districts themselves. We think it's important as county government for such a massive, diverse and interconnected community to have this available. Yeah, because the judge says that she doesn't want school districts to make premature decisions uh, not related to where the virus stands within Harris County. But to that, you've got some school districts who say that we have spent months putting a plan in place in line with what the science tells us. Also, in accordance with TEA guidelines, allowing for both in-person and virtual learning. Again, the judge's comments today, recommendations. These school districts have all the power to choose for themselves. I am told by several sources tonight that we will hear from some of those school districts on what they plan to do in the days ahead. So stay tuned. Live on the Southwest Side, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brandon.